As 3D artists, we often want to show off the raw detail of the models in our scenes without all of the materials getting in the way and while maintaining all or most of the lighting we work so hard to set up. This is often called a clay render, and it works like this. First, open your scene and add a new object that is out of frame and will not influence lighting and shadows. Give it a new material and name it. This material will appear to replace all the materials in our render. It will not actually replace anything though. It will only affect the render output as an override. Now, go to the Render Layers tab in the Properties Editor. Scroll all the way to the bottom, expand Override, and select your new override material. Moving up in this same tab, you should also tick the box by Ambient Occlusion as well as Denoise. Now it's time to render. First, disable this Denoise, then tap F12 to render. A quick note on lighting. This will negate any emissive materials, so make sure to use some kind of world lighting and or actual light objects. Now we need to enhance our physical details by introducing that ambient occlusion pass. Don't close your render window, just move it out of the way and open up the compositor. Tick the Use Nodes box and enable the Backdrop button along the top of the editor. Add a viewer node and a reroute node, connecting it to the viewer. This will show us what we are doing right here in the editor while the composite node sends the same output to the render window. We need to add two more nodes. First, a mix color node set to multiply with the AO socket on the render layers connected to the lower socket of the mix. Now, place a denoise node after the mix node and connect the denoising normal and albedo sockets to it. Your final setup should look like this. If you are missing any of the AO or denoise sockets, you have forgotten to check ambient occlusion and denoise in the render layer properties. And that's it. Back on your render window, you can now press Alt-S or the Image drop-down menu to save your clay render. One last note, when you want to just render the scene as normal again, make sure to clear the override field in the render layer properties and disable any unwanted compositor nodes with the M key. With that, I hope you've found this video helpful. If you have, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Carl with Blender Forge. Happy blending!